the warmest of welcomes to you. We await the conclusion of the pre-game formalities. The teams then, Ghana against Senegal. I'm Peter Drury and this is Jim Beglin. Well, thanks for that, Peter. I'm uh, more than ready to get going here. the whistle and here we go Jim who do you reckon is pivotal yeah Sadio Mane he's one of the paciest players around Peter he's a, a very dangerous dribbler and a fine finisher to boot I particularly like the way he gives defenders a headache by drifting across the forward line looking for gaps to to probe and and spaces to get into I think he's going to be a really huge asset for this team Yes, he'd be my pick too. It's going to be all about how they get the best out of him. Tries a long pass towards the front. Idrissa Gay. Koulibaly. Mane. Idrissa Gay. Pushes it out wide. Carries far too far and out of play. Looks to slip it through. Oh, needless to say, he was expecting a better ball than that. Mane knocks it towards the front. Tried to play it through. I timed his run brilliantly, and I think he has every right to be a little annoyed with, with the passer then, and I think he's letting him know right now about that. Just a little more behind it was needed. Pumps it upfield. Goalkeeper's ball. Keita. Well, neither team has yet managed to impose any authority, and uh, as a consequence, this game's just drifted. Early ball. Well, that's not the cross he had in mind. goalkeeper who's going to make this theirs good clearance and very necessary Koulibaly Kuyate Koulibaly Tries to get it forward quickly Looks like a good ball through It's out for a goal kick Boon forward. Sean tries lifting it over. That was one quality pass away from being a very decent chance. Looked very promising. Yeah, the communication lines were working really well, but the supply line just had a bit of a blockage. Kuyate. Aimed long and direct. Kuyate looking cross field, changing the point of attack. Pate pumps it upfield. Baba. 
needed to come up with a better ball. Yeah, and the vision to get him through was all good, but the execution of the pass wasn't quite right. But importantly, he's holding his line until the very last moment, and that will pay off. It's a promising run he's making on the right. Ayu boots it upfield. And that'll be the last act of the first half. Joe back on the first 45 minutes. Well, this has proved a very frustrating day so far, especially for the strikers. Nothing has been created for them. I think the service has been extremely poor. An engrossing half, but we're still where we started. Nil-nil. And we're off again. Ghana can be very glad that half-time came when it did. Poor possession and very little firepower means they need a serious pickup in this second half. No guts, no glory. Koulibaly, spoon forward. Oh, that's not going to find its target. Who's going to make this theirs? Defence has got rid of that. Sean cuts it back. Kiyate back to the keeper and go again. Senegal have opted to really stretch the game now. Yeah, that's pretty evident, but what's their thinking? Um, I, it looks as if the opposition are happy to defend the width of the 18-yard box, trying to remove that compactness. Aim forward, Ayu. Tries a through ball. Mane. He's put it on the right now. What's on? Amati tries to get it forward quickly. Sean is on the end of some really unwanted attention. Yeah, and as their most significant attacker, he isn't about to receive any generous invitations. Who's going to make this theirs? Spoon forward. Good challenge. He just stood firm. Idrissa Gay goes long and forward. Ayu makes himself available. Sean is the guilty party there. defence can get it clear now it's Ayu gets it upfield Partey forward it goes aimed long and direct Oh, it's Ayu. It's good progress he's made on the ball. Where to next? Good try. The outcome could so easily have been different. Well, when he struck that, he must have thought it was going in. Such are the margins of success and failure in this game. That was so close. ball through yep, it's a corner and that 
should be the keepers. This defence just doesn't trust itself to, to play a higher line. Frightened of people getting in behind. Yeah, absolutely. It just opens up the opportunity of not only strikers getting behind, but the runners from midfield too. Comes under pressure and it's come loose. They get a throw in. Looks to thread it through. Well, he acknowledges that he should have come up with something better there. Yeah, and it was a case of, of good awareness too. That wasn't quite matched by the, the right weight of pass. It only needed just a little bit more behind it. And he was through. Keeper's got good distance on that. And he's made sure that that won't get through. Baba. Surely a foul, free kick, pumps it upfield, that's it, we're going to get 30 minutes more. Yeah, neither side has anything to show for some splendid effort and they certainly aren't showing any signs of easing off, so we remain optimistic. Well, fitness and fatigue, the key factors now, that's an untidy challenge, free kick given. And the referee has shown him a yellow card. Harmlessly behind. Kuyate. To play it forward. Oh, good interception. Baba. Amati. Gets it back. Koulibaly. Spoon forward. Lofted into the middle. Can he score? And here's a corner. ball and he's straight offside well that longer ball if played early enough can catch a defense by surprise now they got the offside decision there but they should prepare themselves for more of the same looks to dink one in and he's made certain that won't get through another throw Sean brings it forward aimed long and direct Ayu demanding a quick ball here extra time reaches half time yeah, it's still goalless, but will it be a refereeing decision, a mistake, or a moment of magic now that makes all the difference? And so the last chance to find a winner. 15 minutes to find a winner, or else penalties. Mane tried to play it through. The idea was good though, Peter, and I like the run that triggered the pass, but the quality was the problem. Into the channel. Doy battles to win it back. Shot a goal! Saved only by poor finishing.
get it forward quickly. It was a move that looked promising, but uh, eventually thwarted without doing any harm. Sticks in a foot to win it back. Idrissa Gay. Who's going to make this theirs? MTI. Doi. Koulibaly. Plays it out to the flank. The final whistle and confirmation we are headed for penalties. Yeah, I think both defences will receive the plaudits for respective clean sheets, but the players have run and worked to the point of exhaustion, so nobody will be questioning their appetite to, to get it won. OK, get set. We have penalties. Ayu steps up to take the first one. Good and he puts the one up. wrong foot of the keeper. Oh, he's blazed it over the bar. It's brain freeze, I think. Uh, that was wild. Ghana looking to extend their advantage. Good penalty, just steered it the other way. And he's put them two in front. Senegal trailing by two now. Oh, good take. Keeper committed himself. Yeah, it's a guessing game for the keeper and he guessed wrong. Ghana have the chance to pull away here. And the lead is two. Senegal can't afford to miss another one. Keeper's read that beautifully. That's a lovely stop from the keeper. He's done his teammates proud with that one. So this to seal it. I oh, saved it! Oh, that was right down the keeper's throat and it was an easy save to make in the end. Senegal at the point of no return. That's it! It is done! Ghana taken all the way. They found the way from the spot and they have won it. A win in the most thrilling fashion. Well, it's been such a long match and the penalty shootout is always a difficult way to end the game. But I thought they did really well to hold their nerve and come through.